Ahoy and welcome back to the Crow's Nest, your home for Sea of Thieves. I'm Captain Jay, and today we're revisiting the smaller ship and discussing pros and cons of the smaller vessel as well as playstyles when sailing in it. In a brand new inside story this week, developers Shelley and Andrew Preston sat down and showed us new footage and discussed design and functionality of the smaller ship. Intended for one or two players, the small ship is perfect for individuals who are keen on exploration. The design behind the ship was heavily influenced by its size and we see that with the controls. Everything from the capstan to the wheel, sail angles and sail length are easily accessible within just a few feet of each other. As Shelley and Andrew stated, it was important to get the coziness of a small ship down as well as the ship controls relative to the size of the vessel. Efficiency for a lone player was key and the design for the controls of the ship illustrate just that. But like with many things in life, not only are there pros to the small ship, but we also have cons to the smaller vessel too. It's all about balance. Because the smaller ship puts the responsibility for everything on the shoulder of one or two players, it could become easy for that player to get overwhelmed if things take a turn for the worse. If your ship is under attack, it's up to you to head below deck and repair the damage and bail out the water. Oh, and you're also trying to steer and sail, reload, fire the cannons, and maybe even try to fend off other pirates climbing aboard all by yourself at the same time. Because of this, the small ships are clearly more vulnerable than their larger counterparts. A few ways to try and limit that is the ship's speed and maneuverability as well as their lower profile on the open seas. If you do find yourself in trouble, trying to go toe to toe with a larger ship might not end well because you're simply outgunned. Instead, raise the anchor, drop the sails, and speed away into safety. If you're really trying to go up against the larger ship, however, try teaming up with other smaller vessels to harass the large ship from all angles. Another tactic when sailing the seas, be mindful of the dangers around you and use your environment to your advantage. The smaller ship has a lower profile, so you could always use the islands and rock formations to block your line of sight from other enemy ships. Enemies can't chase or kill what they can't see, so learn to make yourself invisible. And that's all for the latest update on Sea of Thieves news. What do you think of the small ship and its capabilities? Will you be using it at launch? I know I will for sure. Let me know in the comments section if you will too. Thanks for watching the video everyone. If you enjoyed it, give it a like, subscribe to the Crow's Nest, and be sure to hit that bell icon to be caught up with the latest Sea of Thieves news. As always, I'm Captain J, and until next time, fair winds and following seas.